Hi everyone, Stephen here. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Free Talk. And today, I am going to show you what is happening at the Aquashella in Chicago. First of all, I apologize for the audio and video here.、And、for some reason, the audio wasn't working when I was taking this footage and didn't realize until way afterwards. But here we are, yours truly.、Uh, you don't always get to see me. And、uh, today I decided to show my face, but not my audio. But、uh, you know, it's a technical issue. I hope you guys forgive me. So、um, this is at the Schomburg、uh, Renaissance Schomburg Convention Center.、Uh, so technically in Schomburg, but close enough to Chicago. It's about two hours drive for me.、Uh, today I was able to purchase the VIP entrance, which starts at ten. You can. Purchase also the early bird,、uh, starting at 11, or at the very cheapest,、uh, which starts at noon entry. I would not recommend that. I would recommend, you know, at the very least, get 11 o'clock early bird because、um, right now the footage you're seeing, this is actually my second trip around. I've already came in around 10 o'clock. I did my shop around.、Um, I grabbed everything I needed. And、uh, you know, I just went to my car, put everything down. And now, for the second time, I come back around and take video footage. So this is actually after the 11 o'clock, and in a moment, you can see that it is actually very, very crowded. So highly recommend it if you can afford it. Come in at 10 o'clock. Otherwise,、uh, at least do the 11. So entering into the Aquashella、uh, show floor. Uh, in front of me is、uh, kind of in the middle section. There's a lot of vendors for equipment and fresh water. To the left, this year they arrange almost all the salt water stuff to the left. And、um, for some reason, I guess 2021 is the year of the、uh, Euphilia and、um, Duncan's、uh, porch corals and also donut coral, meaty corals.、Um, You know, in the last couple of years, I guess、uh, people aren't able to import them. So this year, people just go nuts. Every vendor has a ton of Duncan or Mikor or whatever you call it.、Um, there's like Euphilia、uh, everywhere. There is a lot of the、um, rainbow、uh, porch corals, but I personally hate porch because they like to sting other corals and kill them. Um, I actually I originally came here looking for clams, but、uh, there isn't that many. Actually, there's only like two or three vendors that actually have clams this year. So I was a little disappointed, but I did get some of my、um, lobos, my euphilias. I got a few hammer colonies, and I call it today、uh, the reef section. But、um, it is bustling. You see all all the crowd here.、Uh, I got lost for a second here. Anyways, yeah. So the prices are okay, I guess.、Um, you know, you, you do get certain things. You do get better price, but you really want to do your homework. I recommend that before you come into Aquashella or any trade shows, you know, just go visit your online stores, browse around a little bit, have a general idea of what everything costs. Because even though I got a lot of deals, there's a lot of good deals. Don't get me wrong, but. There are definitely items that I do not think are worth whatever price they label or they tell you.、Um, sometimes you have to play a little coy.、Uh, you, you, you know, you just you can't just go in and hey, how much is thing? It looks really beautiful. Hey, if if they think that you want it really bad, they can up the price. That's <laughs> that is the scary thing about this trade. It's it's all about demand. So if you like it enough. You know what? They may just add another ten, fifteen dollars on top of what they were originally gonna、uh, planning to sell. So have a little patience.、Um, I recommend that you do a quick sweep around all the vendors first, to, and、um, kind of take mental note what you really want.、Um, come in with a shopping list, and then、um, compare. Ask maybe at least two or three different vendors for similar items. Now, obviously, if there's one item that is truly unique, you do not see one in any of the other vendors. Go for it. Go crazy. You know, you you come here. Most people probably drive hours to get here. It's once a year, at least, opportunity for you to get what you want.、Um, a lot of you folks probably got a 
like a hall pass day for spending from either your husband or your wife or your loved ones, you know what, go crazy. It, it is really a kid-friendly event too. Bring your family, bring your kids here. They're gonna have a lot of fun. Now, I personally didn't bring my family here just because, um, you know, I have to take videos and I was doing my rounds and it just worked out more efficiently if, when I was um, flying solo here. So, oh, this section I wanted to mention, um, there's actually a lot of uh, really talented artists here. I personally, I'm an artist to begin with, so I truly appreciate all this art. Um, if you are looking for some fun artwork to hang in your office, even your house, definitely check them out and then there is Dirk my old pal he is in every trade show selling his dry goods oh one more thing that is everywhere this year is those beta fish um, I don't think I've ever seen that many beta vendors in the past uh, people beta has really been catching on you know it, it is really good um, it is affordable it's cheap and easy to care for and uh, they're beautiful um, there's frankly a lot of beautiful freshwater fish these days. Uh, you really don't have to go nuts and go saltwater if you're looking for something pretty. pretty. Here's a RO water vendor. You definitely need an RO uh, system if you are anywhere serious about keeping uh, saltwater fish, freshwater, even freshwater. You need RO for shrimp, for a lot of the cichlids, for your discus, and uh, there are some landscaping beautiful look at all these beautiful tanks I just want to take all of them home uh, well I can I did shop for some really nice priced driftwood so if you're looking for some uh, aquarium plants and driftwood uh, make sure you come check it out and uh, I know right now it's Aquashella actually in a couple of months in October there is gonna be Reefa Palooza again in Chicago but at that time it's gonna be very saltwater specific so um, Aquashella is still going on for another day Sunday tomorrow so if you have time if you haven't made any plans come down to Chicago check out this bring your family you're gonna have a load of fun and uh, continue to looking at this section. So, oh, there's some terrarium, but it's pretty cool. It's, one of them is pretty foggy. And, uh, oh, so in a second, when I swivel around, you will see there is actually a couple of competitions going on here in this event. So one of them is a flower horn competition, which happens every year. I know people who love flower horns go crazy on them. Oh, by the way, this is the uh, custom aquarium. So I've been in touch with them since I'm building a new house. Um, I've been talking to them about building a custom tank, but they built more than just fish tanks. Look at them, they have reptile cages. Uh, they actually also have aviaries. So if you are looking for any kind of custom containment for plants, animals, they are the way to go. They're actually in Wisconsin, Nina, Wisconsin. I used to live so close to Nina and I had no idea they were there. I feel kind of embarrassed that I didn't know until years later. And um, here is a, I, when I first walked in, I thought this, they just sell fish and cichlids. And then I realized there's some lizard favorite dragon. There's snakes. Look at this beautiful pythons. And what? They have tortoise, my favorite. Look at those, You're so cute. Look at those tortoise. Um, well, if you want to have tortoise though, you have to write them into your will because they will outlive you. I'll tell you that. Again, dry goods to the wazoo. Um, there wasn't really that many um, freshwater varieties. I mean, oh, there's some oxalata. Um, there were some cichlids, there was some tetra vendors, but you know, I was a little disappointed that there weren't any discus. Um, there weren't any like pleco, like some serious pleco vendors, so I was a little disappointed right there on that department. Um, here is a competition for flower horn. Now, I, I have never owned a flower horn from my understanding though, they are super aggressive and they almost kind of need a species tank of their own. Um, they have pretty specific needs, so um, if you're interested, check out some more information in flower horns. They're not cheap, 
but they are absolutely gorgeous. Um, I highly recommend if you want something kind of like a showpiece, something for your room. Look at all this. I mean, they all look different. Uh, like each one is just one of a kind. And it's amazing how beautiful they are. Uh, I probably went the wrong direction now to wrap around. Oh, by the way, it's actually kind of a blessing in disguise that my audio didn't work. I actually took a several different footages and then put them together. My audio did work for a few of them, but I decided to mute them anyways because this place, they hired a couple of DJs and the place is popping. Like, it was so loud, I could hardly hear myself. So, um, I doubt the video quality would be, or the audio quality would be any good anyways. Um, so I muted the audio and I'm just going to narrate over this. So there's some flower horns, some more flower horns, and there's another competition. These are the cherry or crystal shrimp competition. Um, some of them just look insane. I didn't bring my macro lens with me, so um, fortunately I can't really um, show you the detail of what the shrimp look like. And um, it's the tanks just go on and on. And then there is like a little kid zone. Uh, like I said, it's family friendly. So there is some um, facial painting going on right here. And there is a girl dressed up as a mermaid. You can take a picture with her. Um, I didn't get too close because I didn't want to look too creepy until <laughs> trying to film a footage for you guys. Um, yeah, bring your kids. It's it's a, it's a blast here, it looks like. And then I'm gonna walk towards, um, there is actually a stage where they're broadcasting live here. Oh, by the way, you see all those uh, green satchels that people are wearing. The, those are um, like the gift bags that you get. Um, and, um, oh, here is uh, Pet World from Kansas and they have, talk about driftwood. Now, if you want driftwood, you cannot miss. This is awesome price, like at least at least a third of what you normally would pay in a retail store. And then there's some more plants, and uh, I'm gonna show you guys. I have already picked up some shrimp, but I got some really nice King Kong shrimp from um, this vendor back here. Not this, not this girl. Um, they sell plants, but. Um, this vendor here to our right. We got some beautiful shrimp. I got some the right snails and um, yeah, all in all, pretty cool. Um, everywhere, by the way, um, if you are used to paying with credit card, everywhere accepts credit card. Um, a few vendors have a little connection problem with, with your phone, so you might need to be a little bit patient. Otherwise, um, you know, cash is always king. Um, the one big difference is that if you pay with credit card, you will have to pay the local state tax, which I believe is 60%. So if you um, don't want Uncle Sam to take a dip on whatever you're paying for, um, you can always bring enough cash to shop for this stuff here. So that's about it for the event. Um, hopefully uh, you guys will be able to make it out there this weekend to see the event. And um, again, you know, there's another event for re later on. If you like my content, please subscribe and like the support. Thank you.